Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about window functions in SQL, a super useful but sometimes confusing feature. So I have a very simple table I'll be using, it's called employees. Uh, there's 21 rows and each row has an employee number, the department an employee belongs to, and their salary. So to start, I want to talk about aggregate functions and group by. Uh, whether you're using MySQL or any other SQL flavor, we have access to a bunch of these built-in functions like min, max, standard deviation, sum, average. They will take some number of rows that we have grouped together using group by and reduce a group of values into a single value. So I could do something like this, select department and average salary from employees grouping by department. So all of the, if we go back to the full table, all of the engineering rows are grouped together and then we calculated the average. All of the sales rows and they were grouped together and we calculated the average. So we had three different groups, we get three different rows. Here's all the average salaries. Here's an illustration of how that works with a very small sample of our employees table, just four rows. When I do a group by department and calculate the average salary, in this example, we get two groups, one for sales, one for customer service. Each one gets the average calculated, and each group is collapsed down to a single row. We only get two rows back. And that's what group by does. It collapses groups of rows into a single resulting row. But that is not how window functions work. Window functions also can perform aggregate operations on groups of rows, but they will produce a result for every single row. So let me show you the exact same sort of logic here, but written as a window function where I'm calculating the average salary by department. This is what it looks like. I'm getting the employee number, department, salary, and average salary for each department. We'll go over this syntax uh, in just a sec, but you'll see that I have every row from my original table. Every row with the employee number, department, and salary alongside the department average that corresponds to this row. So customer service, all these rows here, they all have 46,000 as the average. Engineering, they all have 81,000. Sales, they all have 77,000. If you compare that to the result of our group by, the numbers are the same, but the resulting rows are very different. From a group by, it was all collapsed down. Every group is collapsed to a single row. When we use a window function, every single row is still here and the salary average is added on. So here's a visualization of that. We run this code. This is the partitioning and the over the window function stuff we're about to learn. Uh, and with our four simple rows, they're grouped into two different, what we call a window, two different windows, but really just groups. One for sales, the average is calculated 59,000. The other is for customer service, average is calculated 55,000. And then those numbers are reintegrated in alongside the original rows in each window. They're not collapsed down. Instead, the data is interwoven to form a sort of hybrid result. We have individual row data alongside aggregated data. And we can do this using all the other aggregate functions like min and max or sum. But now let's take a moment to talk about the syntax. So what is this over? That over keyword is, or the over clause is very important. It tells MySQL or any SQL variant that we are running this as a window function. And when we leave it empty, it specifically says one massive window, AKA all the rows in our selection. So this right here would calculate the average salary over one massive window with all of the rows, one big group. So let me show you that actually. Average and then salary over, and then I'm gonna give it a name like as, and this is just overall salary. So we're calculating the average for all of the rows because I didn't partition them in any way, which we're going to learn about. When I run this, every single row now just has the overall average salary, $68,000 next to it. But of course, what we've already seen in some of the code is that I can partition into different windows, into different groupings. So inside of over, I can say instead of one massive window with all of the rows and calculate the average salary for all the rows together. I instead want you to calculate the average for all of the rows in each window partitioned by department. So take all of these rows and form them into smaller groupings of rows, smaller windows, and within each one of those calculate the average. So I'll do that here. Instead of doing over and then empty, I'll do over partition by department and I'll call this department average. When I run it, this is what we see. 
So we have the employee number, department, the salary, and the department average. So customer service, 46,000. Customer service, 46,000. Engineering, 81,000. Sales, 77,000. Now we can do the same thing with all of the aggregate functions. So I could do min and max, just as an example. Let's do uh, min salary. I'll do the minimum salary partitioned by department. I'll call that department min. And then I'll also do the max. So when I run that query, we see each individual row, like this person makes $38,000. In their department, that is above the minimum, right? 31,000 is the minimum. And the department maximum is $61,000. So what we've seen so far is that we can use these aggregate functions we already know, like min, max, and average, to calculate some number or some single value based on a grouping. But that information then will be displayed or reintegrated alongside each individual row. I can find the same information, the average by department, the minimum by department, the maximum by department using group by, but the end result is very different. When I use window functions using over and partition by, I can see the same numbers, but they're alongside the original rows. And that is great. We can do that with all of the different aggregation functions, but what's extra fancy and what I am not going to go into a ton of detail on, but I want to show you is that there's a set of window functions that only work as window functions with the over clause. So the one I'm going to start with here is rank. Rank allows us to find the rank of a current row within its partition. That doesn't sound all that exciting, but we could do something like calculate the rank of each salary within a department and also the rank of each salary overall at the company. So that doesn't involve grouping with group by. We can't do this with group by, but I'll show you how it works. We write rank and then I say over. And then the most important part is this new piece of syntax order by. Order by allows us to change the order within each one of these windows. So this example here is just one big window, right? All the rows ordered by salary. Let me show you that over order by salary. And I'm going to do descending from highest salary to lowest. Now this is going to give us the overall rank. So let's take a look. We can see over here, overall rank number one is this person who makes $159,000. That's their salary. This right here, 61,000 overall rank is 11. This right here, 40,000 overall rank is 19. But then I can also combine this with a partition. So instead of saying over all of the rows ordered by salary, I'm going to instead partition by department. And then I'll order within each of those partitions by salary. And I'll call this department rank. All right, so when I run that, you'll see that for every single row, we have the overall rank and then the rank within their given department. So let me make this a bit larger so we can take a look. Uh, like this person in customer service, these are all the customer service rows. This is the highest ranking salary within customer service, which is $61,000. This person has the seventh ranking or the lowest within customer service, 31,000. But then overall within the whole company or the whole table, they're ranked 21st. Go down to engineering, right? And this person is ranked first within engineering with $103,000. Uh, but then they're ranked second overall because somebody else is ranked first over here in sales. So that's an example of something that we can only do with a window function. And alongside rank, we have other window only functions like first value and lead and lag, uh, percent rank, row number. I'm not gonna go into them here, but they are all functions that you can only use with over. So to summarize, we saw a lot in this video, uh, window functions perform some sort of operations, aggregate operations on groupings of rows. But then instead of reducing each group down to a single value or a single row, they instead give us an output that includes the original rows alongside whatever we just calculated, the minimum, the maximum, the average, or the rank, or in the case of some extra fancy things, lead and lag. I think I'll do a separate video on those because they are uh, a little bit trickier, but that's all I'll say about it for now. And that's pretty much it. We use the over clause with empty parens over is going to then just form one massive window with all the rows and do some calculation. Partition by instead will form smaller groups, smaller windows based off of whatever we partition by and then order by inside of over. 
we'll change the order of the rows within those partitions. And then all the calculations are done and the results are woven back in alongside the rows. And that's it. If you want to learn more about SQL, check out my course. There's a coupon in the description. Otherwise, have a great rest of your life.